Your riders need 165 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque? Well, honestly, no, but we weren't complaining during our recent comparison of the Yamaha Star VMAX and the Triumph Rocket 3 Roadster. Both these bikes are all about engine performance, but in two very different ways. The VMAX's distinctive V4 generates freakish amounts of horsepower, with only a handful of production rides matching its raw rear wheel production of 165 horsepower. The Triumph's hulking triple takes a different tack, its primary mission to churn out gobs of torque. Featuring the largest motorcycle engine in production at 2300cc, no other bike in our testing experience has come close to matching its jaw-dropping 132 pound-feet of torque. On road, the rocket's bounteous torque is available right off the bottom, well over 120 pound-feet from idle. Acceleration is arm-pulling, yet doesn't match the brute force of the vicious V-Max. Crack the throttle on the max and the tire spins in all the lower gears, packing a near uncontrollable wallop in one of the quickest rides we've ever sampled. With rides like this, it's only natural to take them out to the drag strip for a run down the quarter mile. And that's exactly what we did at Friday Night Drags at our local Champions Raceway. So we're here at Champion Raceway in Southern Oregon, and we're testing the Yamaha VMAX and the Triumph Rocket Roadster. Uh, we knew these things are big horsepower cruisers, so we had to take them to the drag strip, obviously. All right, so here's the deal. You've got a bike that was purpose-built for the drag strip, and we've got a bike that has an engine that is worthy of being at the drag strip. When the dust settles, the VMAX kicks the Triumph's butt. I mean, seriously, it's doing, my best runs at 10.5, about 130 miles an hour. You know, and we only got three passes in the test and tune, so probably could have been better, but for whatever it's worth, that's what I did, 10.5. On this, took on my third run to get a, uh, an 11.9, and uh, it really took a lot of clutch work just to get it out of the hole to pull that off. So no matter which one you pick, you're going to have a serious, a seriously fast bike. And you're going to have your hands full. Take that to the drag strip, spend a little time dialing in, I guarantee you're going to be in the nines. This thing, you'll probably be lucky to get into mid-tens. So there you have it. VMAX, Rocket. This one takes a cake at the drag strip. <laughs> While both undoubtedly go fast in a straight line, when the road throws some curves, the VMAX leaves the heavier Triumph behind without any trouble. Sportier ergos aid in the star's superior handling, as does the 120-pound lighter bulk. Its narrower fill also allows for much quicker transitions. The VMAX also offers three-way adjustable suspension components front and rear for riders to further dial in the setting. The Triumph handling feels far more cruiserish, slower to turn in and lacking adjustments save rear preload. Once headed in the right direction, however, the Rocket 3 does provide stellar stability and its handling chops seem to exceed those of similar sized cruisers. The VMAX's higher spec performance extends to braking, where its dual disc, six piston caliper front provides fantastic stopping power and positive feel of the lever. While both are equipped with ABS, the Triumph's braking performance just doesn't match up to the star. The VMAX superior performance does come with a near $20,000 price tag, while the Rocket 3 Roadster is much more manageable at $14,000. The fun factor on both rides are high, although practicality takes a serious hit with the VMAX's horrendous sub 100 mile range. The Rocket's fuel economy isn't a whole lot better, but its larger tank delivers more palatable range stats. The Rocket's major drawback is its wide girth and 800 pound plus bulk. The Triumph is just plain hard to move around at low speeds. Both bikes deliver distinctive styling. The Max with its iconic air scoops and brutish motor. The Triumph with its triple header pipes anchoring the right side. The British Mark has also done a fine job restyling the Rocket with everything blacked out. In the end, as often happens in head-to-head -head comparisons, between these bikes, there's no clear winner or loser, just big differences. The VMAX is a hooligan performance bike defying easy categorization. The Rocket 3 Roadster more fits the mold of a performance cruiser. Horsepower or torque, take your pick. Either one will bring plenty of grants. <laughs>